Okay, so these are the kind of diapers that I use. These are simple solutions, and they are the extra large size, and the way you can tell is by the golden retriever on the front. There are a couple of websites, if you Google this, there's a couple of websites where you can actually buy these in bulk. You can buy them. This is a 12 pack and you can buy like 12 12 packs, which makes it much cheaper um, because for some reason they're harder to find in the pet stores in the valley. But these are actually the best diapers to use for a female dog in heat. So I'm going to put one on candy and show you guys how to do it so that not only will the dog like it, but it'll make your life much easier and you'll go through a heck of a lot less diapers if the dog's more comfortable. So, start with one diaper, unfold it, totally unfold the whole thing. Get it all stretched out, all the flaps and everything on both sides. Look down at Candy. You can see that she's ex actually excited for me to put it on. She likes wearing it. <clears throat> so, what you do is you get it all stretched out like this, and the other thing, that we're going to use is packing tape and that's going to actually secure the tabs on it although for her you don't really need it but I do it anyways because my male dog tries to rip the diaper off of her so you can see there's a hole for the tail and there's a tab on it right well the first trick is that tab because that hole is actually not big enough for her tail to fit through and for her to be able to take a poop without it squeezing into the diaper so I'll show you what I do candy come here come here Come over here, give me a tail. No, no, stand up, give me a tail. First thing I do is stick the hole through the diaper. Come, no, turn around. Stick the hole, or the tail through the diaper. And then I pull the diaper up onto her back, nice and comfortable. Can you see that well? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and comfortable. And then I take this little flap and I pull it up just a little bit, just enough so that I can see that, okay, she's able to take a poop. So I pull the tap, I pull the diaper back up, and I take this, stretch it out again, stretch it under, and I take the first tab, and I just stick it on somewhere on the diaper, and then I take the second tab, and I stick it on the diaper. And then what I do is adjust it, and then, and you might want to get closer, or maybe I'll bring her around like this so you can see this. This is the real trick with this. You make sure that these tabs are coming over and are laying tight, and you pull it tight, but they're laying on this uh, labeled part that has the label on it. And sometimes I'll go through and I'll readjust the diaper, make sure the, it's flattened out on all sides, and make sure that it's tight, because when it's tight and snug, then they like it. The reason I put these tabs on this part is you'll feel it. This compared to this, this is really soft. This is not soft at all. So what I do, then I take this blue strip and I fold this back over, fits over the tabs. And then I take one piece of tape. And this is a brand new roll of tape. So some reason it's giving me a hard time but and I take it right I can see that the edge of the tab is right there so I'll take this right halfway on the piece that I fold it over and halfway over here and then I'll grab another piece of tape and come here baby and I'll do the same thing on this side I'll put it half on and half off of that folded piece. And you can see sometimes there'll be little pieces that stick out and that's okay. This flap is up, that's good. The last thing that I do is I take a smaller piece of the tape and I put it right here, right at the edge of this bottom piece of the diaper and I tuck it under, I tuck it under her. And it's kind of hard to do with, without being directly in front of it, I can do it easier on this side. But what that does is that reinforces that tab to stick to the actual diaper. And then same thing on here.
Kenny, Kenny. Uh, now she's gonna make me do both of them on the opposite side. So um, if you look, I take it right at the edge of this, where this piece is, tape it down, tuck that under, and take this. And it's gonna be a tight, if you got the diaper nice and snug, it's gonna be a little difficult to stick that in there. But then once it's like that, then everything's perfect. Now this diaper is snug, it is not coming off of her. She can pee in it, she can take off running as fast as she can outside, the diaper will not fall. She, I've actually had experiences where she's had to go two or three times potty outside in the diaper and it fills it up and holds it. The last thing I do is I take one extra piece of tape about 10 inches long and I stick it halfway on the diaper and halfway on her back and stick it to her fur. I know that seems weird, it doesn't bother her at all, but it, to me, I don't know if it's necessary, but for me it's just that one last piece that will hold the diaper up onto her. And then, as you can see, it fits her, come here Kenny, come here. It fits her just perfect on both sides. This diaper is snug, it's not going anywhere. It's totally tight, she can pee in it. She has room to poop. As you can see, and come here, baby. And you can see it's not going to fall off. So that's how I put the simple solutions diapers on the dog. And if you do it right, then they bleed for a normal seven to ten days. Um, you should be able to use two diapers a day. Like I'll do, I'll let her out in the morning, let her do her thing, go potty, go poop, and then I'll put a diaper on her. And then at night, I'll take it off, let her out, go potty, poop, let her have like 20 minutes to let the whole area breathe and, you know, not be so clammy, if you will. And then I'll put a diaper on for the night. So, that's it.